Okay, before we start building a client, we need to know what's the server we're gonna point to. We need to know what's the endpoint that our client is gonna access. Uh, I could have picked any of the uh, freely available you know, REST API endpoints, but what I've decided to do for this course is pick a project which we built in the previous course titled Developing RESTful APIs with JAXRS. While I say that that's the prerequisite for this course, you don't really have to have gone through that course to be able to perform this step. All we're doing is we're looking at the project that we worked on in that course, and we're just gonna get the code and integrate it to our project. It's just an API for us to call from our uh, JAXRS client. So I have a link to the zip file which contains the code in the tutorial page. Uh, you could also go to this project location on GitHub and click on download zip so that you get the source code. Again, the details of this project doesn't matter. All we are doing is getting the code so that we have a REST API endpoint that our JAXRS client can access. Okay, so what I have here is a copy of the template project JAXRS01. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is go to the Messenger project and uh, navigate to the SRC main Java, our Kaushik Java Brains folder. So this is the Messenger folder which contains all the source code for the messenger project. Now I'm going to copy this folder and import it into the same path here, so src main java or kaushik java print. So I'm going to paste that folder over here. So again, since messenger doesn't have a database dependency, it's all in memory, right? It's all driven by the code that we've copied here. So this should work seamlessly. So we are gonna be primarily concerned with the message resource in this tutorial. We have hard-coded a couple of messages here, so it should make it easy for us to just access that URL and get going. All right, so I'm gonna restart the server here and uh, open Postman. I'm gonna make a call to this URL here. So this is advanced jaxrs 6 which is the root context of the project that we just saw. This is the copy-paste project. It's jaxrs 6 and web API is a route that the application class we've implemented configures. Now slash messages should give us the message resource. Now I'm gonna do a get request here, and there we go. We get the two messages that we've hard coded in the previous course. If you haven't watched the previous course, all that's happening here is a hard coded list of message entities that I've put into a map. And we're using this instead of connecting to the database just to make it easy to just get this app running. All right, now that we have this, let's write a client which makes a REST API call to this URL and gets messages and posts messages and all that good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna start by creating a class which has a main method. We are building a client here, so we don't need a server. So I'm just gonna create a class here. I'm gonna call it REST API client. And this is gonna go to the package dot REST client and I need the main method so I'm gonna check this and click finish all right now how do we create a client you could of course use the low-level network APIs that Java provides to make an HTTP call because all we are dealing with is HTTP right but there's no fun in that what we're here to learn is a more elegant way to make these rest API calls so JAXRS comes with a few APIs that let us build clients and make requests to REST APIs, right? So that's uh, when we include Jersey, we're getting that library to make REST API requests. So JAXRS gives us a handy object called client, which is super useful when you wanna make REST API calls, right? It has all the APIs for building requests and making calls and all that stuff, okay? But client is actually an interface. You need an implementation for it, right? So you need to ask JAXRS to say, hey, give me an object of client. So the way you do that is by doing what's called a client builder dot new client. So this is how you create an instance of client. You're basically asking JAXRS to say, hey, give me a client object. And now you get a client object. Now with this client object, you can actually start making your requests and sending them. The first thing you wanna do with your client object 
is to tell it where to point to, right? So the first thing you need to tell it is where is your REST API URL, okay? So you need to tell it what's the target that the client needs to point to. So the way to specify the target for your client is to use a method called, can you guess, target. So there are three signatures, or actually four signatures here. So you can send it the link, you can send it a string, you can send it a URI or a URI builder. I'm just gonna choose string here. So in this method, I can send the URL for where I want this client to make a REST API request to. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this URL here. I'm gonna make a call to web API slash messages slash one. So this is this hard coded message. I wanna retrieve message ID one, right? So that's gonna be the target for this client. Now that I've pointed the client to a target, I'm ready to build a request, right? So the way to build a request is using the request method. Okay, so now I have built a request. Now what I, what I need to do is send this request. The way to send the request is by using a method based on what I wanna do with this, right? Do I wanna do a get, do I wanna do a post? Here I wanna do a get. So I'm gonna say, hey request, do a get, okay? And now this is gonna give me a response. So I'm gonna hold on to this in a variable, create a new local variable called response. Now this response, is all I need, right? So this is the response I'm gonna get from the REST API. All right, so let me print out the response here. All right, so now what happens if I run this? I'm gonna say run as Java application. You see here we get a JAX address response object, which is not really what we want what we've got here is a wrapper object, right? We want to get the message instance out of this. So this library has no idea that what you're looking for is a message instance. We've got the wrapper, but we want to unwrap the wrapper and get the message instance. You want to read the message instance out of this. To unwrap this wrapper object and read the message entity out of this, you use a method called read entity and you pass in what class you are expecting as a response. So here it's message.class. Now message is something that I import from my model package. All right, so this lets JaxRS know that what you want is a message instance. Let me actually take this out so that it's a bit clearer. I wanna say message, message equals response dot read entity of the message class. So what this does is it takes this response and says, okay, this response holds a message instance. You're passing in the class. So it's gonna unwrap the message instance in this response and it's gonna create a new message instance over here. And now I'm gonna print message dot get message. All right, so now let's run this and see what happens. There you go, we see hello world. So hello world is that hard-coded message in the API that we've built. Now we've created a separate program which makes a REST API call to that URL, unwraps the message entity out of this, and then prints the actual message. All right, so this is how you create a REST API client using JAXRS. Uh, we've glossed over a lot of details here, so I'm gonna talk about a few more tricks to make this easy and elegant. See you in the next tutorial.